So, what happened to my hand? This video is going to be a story time about what happened to my hand. This is something that uh, people have asked me a lot when I first meet them or after I meet them and we've been friends for a while. They're like, I've always wanted to ask what happened to your hand. I mean, I'm pretty open about it and I would love to share with you guys what actually happened to my hand. I mean, the dirty, dirty details. Alright guys, get your snacks, get your tea, cause you know I got mine, and let's get started with this video. So what happened to my hand is I got into a car accident when I was younger, okay? I feel like I was about maybe like 8 or 9, maybe even younger. Uh, I was in the car with my aunt, my grandma, my other aunt, and two cousins. It was a minivan, and we were headed to... Uh, Mississippi for a funeral uh, on a I-57, I, I want to say, and so we're driving, and mind you, I'm asleep, so if nobody knows, if you guys don't know me personally, I am definitely a sleeper. I love my sleep, and especially when I get in cars, I just feel very tired, so I was in the back seat asleep um uh, our the way our van was it was one of those where you have to pull the door to close so i never worried about the door opening and me flying out or anything like that so i was leaning like i had my seatbelt on this way and i was leaning toward the door so while uh that happened i was asleep and when i woke up the car was spinning um, our van started spinning out of control. So my grandmother who was driving was trying to get control of the vehicle and eventually couldn't. So it turns out that she started to lose control when this, um, crap guys, the, the trucks, you know, there's a semi truck that came and it hit my grandmother. <laughs> spin and swerve and she got scared so she started to lose control of the vehicle so uh this car started spinning at this point i woke up because i was like what's happening like so the car was spinning and eventually i woke up and i was kind of freaking out i my grandma was screaming my aunts were screaming my cousins were and I kind of woke up to this screaming fiesta so then I immediately saw water flying I know this is crazy water flew across my face like it didn't get on me but it flew past me if that makes sense like I saw water and I saw glass and I kind of blacked out for a second and when I eventually got up I was on this hill um i saw the hill and then further down the hill i saw my aunt my aunt joyce so uh, what happened was mind you i was a itty bitty itty bitty baby i was very skinny and small and my seatbelt was not tightened because mind you i was trying to lay on the side of the van so i loosened it not took it off but i loosened the strap so that i can lean so when the car flipped it flipped my way because i was on the left side and it flipped to the left where i was laying my head so i came out of my seatbelt whenever the car flipped over again and the, excuse me. The car was really close. Like, our van was really close to almost, like, smashing me. Um, if I wasn't flipped out of that car, I probably wouldn't be here right now, honestly. Like, if I didn't fall out of that window, I probably would have died. Um, so, when I was looking down the hill... My aunt was running toward me, and I was running toward her. The van had finally got level ground, and it was on 
it's four wheels, but there was a pole there, and the pole, uh, my family crashed into the pole, like, from the side, so the pole, they kind of hit the pole, like, here's the pole, here's us, and this is us sideways, we kind of went like this, well, they did, and I, I fell out, so she was coming toward me, and I got up, and I was, um, I was holding my hand like this, and I couldn't lift it up. So I got super scared, and I'm like, tee, 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 I'm trying to get my aunt's attention. I'm, uh, well, she saw me, and she eventually was like, oh, my gosh, my baby. And she uh, grabbed me and started to hold me and was trying to help me. And then other people stopped, and uh, they laid me on the on the grass so I was laying on the grass and a bunch of people came up to me they were pouring water on me I mean I was closing my eyes so I'm pretty sure they they were uh trying to keep me alive because they thought I was dying but uh there was glass in my eyes because when I fell out of the window I fell through the glass so there's glass in my eyes in my in my clothes I'm bleeding a lot I had a scar on my back and I got this scar on my hand I'm probably ashy, but I have a scar all over my, these scars on my arms, and I have one right here. So, uh, when it hit me, I was like, oh my god, like, I'm about to die. I'm like, okay, like, I keep closing my eyes. You know, I'm dramatic as heck, so I'm over here, like, they're pouring water on me, and like, wake up, baby, stay up, stay up. I'm over here, like, I'm about to die. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Like, save me. Somebody called the cops. I am about to die right now. <laughs> I really did. I thought I was, I thought it was going to be out of there, y'all. But I wasn't. And so this lady came up to me and she uh, sat down on the grass with me and she told me to sing to her because there was music playing. And she's like, what does this kid like to do? I'm like, I'll be singing. So they're like, she sings. So she was singing and I remember, I even remember the song. It was by Mary Mary. I loved that album. It was Believer. I'm a believer. Tell me how it feels to me. I'm a believer. Cause he gave me that liberty. So I was singing that. So I'm over here still singing my song. And they're over here trying to keep me awake. But I'm over here like, girl, I can't even open my eyes. I got glass in the corner of my eye. That's what I'm trying to say. But I was young, so I wasn't really vocalizing what was going on. So... Eventually, the uh, the ambulance came, and I was put into the ambulance, and from there, I went to, uh, I got into a helicopter, and I, we went to this uh, hospital in St. Louis, I recall, and so I was taken care of there, and they put stitches in my hand, and within, like, I think, I feel like it might have been, like, a couple days to a week, I felt better. <laughs> Like, I didn't feel as great as I should. I mean, I had this little cast and everything. I mean, I was going back to summer camp. I was I was low-key mad, though. I was low-key mad. Not because I almost died. Like, I didn't even care that I almost died. I'm like, bro, I was trying to go to the funeral. <laughs> I'm like, I'm trying to go to Mississippi. What is happening here? Like, let me go. Let me go. Let me go. <laughs> At this point, I was just ready to get out of there. And then I had a little... um. I had a glass still in my eye because they didn't pick it all off. And um, a couple days later, this is funny. I'm not going to say her name because I know she'll beat my butt. But my aunt was like, I was like, TT, there's there's still a glass in my eye. She said, girl, don't tell them folks that we trying to go. I'm like, <laughs> whole time I'm trying to go too. But I wanted to go to Mississippi because my you, I've never been there before. So I was really upset about that. And I got home, and when I got home, guys, I felt so much love. I mean, everybody was waiting for me. I eventually, uh, I had my cast on. My grandma cared for me, and I got better. Um, so that was basically my story of when I got in a car wreck. Um, and honestly, if it weren't for God, I'm, I'm convinced that God made sure that pole was right there and made sure that I flipped out because a lot of people were kind of like, oh, like, it's a good thing. I mean, like, it's so bad that you fell out the window and, like, oh, my gosh, where's your seatbelt on? Yes, my seatbelt was on. Mind your business. It was. Um, and I feel like it was a great thing, and it was only God that made me fall out because if I didn't fall out, mind you, I was small. So that impact, like, 
hitting them, like hitting that pole, and it, the pole would have hit on my side. We would have hit the pole on my side. So if we hit that pole and that impact to that pole, to me, that would have hurt me really, really bad. Like I would have been either paralyzed or dead. Like there is no in-between with that. Like I wouldn't have come out with just a little scar on my hand with a cast. Believe that. And I don't remember. I don't think it was broken. I think I kind of like, I maybe fractured it or like I, I mean, like I sprained my hand or something. I don't know. I don't think it was broken because I didn't have like a cast cast. I just had like this. It wasn't broken. I don't think it was broken. So I'm just glad that God was with me and I thank him all the time. I mean, after that, I kind of had like this car, this autophobia. Like I did not want to be in cars because I'm like, what if I die for real this time? What if God's not there? What if the angels don't save me? I'm going to be dead. But it is what it is. So, guys, that's what happened to my hand. I know everybody had, had been asking me that a lot. And I just want to get the record straight. Um, so, that's the video. So, if you want to end this video now, you can go ahead and end this video because I'm just going to chit-chat a little bit more after this. And see ya. Thank you guys so much, and there's a special thanks that needs to go to the people who have supported me so much that they have subscribed to my YouTube channel. I have 10 subscribers, and I'm so happy for my little 10 subscribers, and don't hate, don't hate, because one day, I'ma have 1 million. I'm, I'm putting that in my brain, right? I'll speak that into existence, Lord. Anyway, I'ma have more, so mind y'all business, and if you have something negative to say about my little 10 subscribers, click off this video anyway thank you so much to the 10 people who believed in me so much that you subscribed to my channel that makes me so happy I've only been doing this for a few days and I have 73 views on my video uh, if I'm not mistaken eight likes and 10 subscribers I mean I'm so thankful for this I mean I I was very hesitant to start YouTube before but, I mean, honestly, I'm just following my heart at this point, you know, and I, I'm so thankful for everyone who supports me. And even my little 74 viewers, like, thank you so, so much. And can you guys comment what you want your name to be to my 10 subscribers? Do you want to be A, Anna Babies, B, my Anna Army? Or see something that you pick. Like, tell me what you want. And then I'll have, like, a poll or something that I'll post to see what y'all want to be named. Because I am having so much trouble figuring that out. And also, give me an intro song or uh, an intro and outro, like, to begin and end my videos. So, just let me know what you guys like because this is all about you. It's for your entertainment. Alright. See you later. Khadijah and is out.